So here's the second Sangup series motor from DYS. This one is the Shu 2306 2800 kV. This was sent in by DYS, so thank you DYS for sending it so I can test it and tear it down and show it to you guys. So thanks to DYS. This series of motors from DYS has been made to fill the budget series of motors. So the price is quite affordable at about 10 bucks each. I'll tear it down and show you the insides and also we'll put it on the thrust stand so we can see how it compares to other motors of similar size. So quite an interesting motor especially at the price point that it's coming at. So let's uh, open it up. It comes in this very modest uh, box and uh, as you can see it's marked uh, 12 2017 so brand new motor and just uh, again modestly packaged nothing wrong with that save some money on packaging no need for fancy packaging uh, just in a plastic bag and they do provide you with uh, a color matched aluminum nylock and some uh, m3 by 6 allen screws and some spare uh, circlips so that's pretty nice touch to include some circlips and also this little note I guess it's kind of like an anecdote or, or passage on historic characters I guess from Chinese uh, history so interesting to read uh, so if you don't know yet uh, the names of these motors the uh, Shu, Wei, and Wu, uh, they refer to the three kingdoms. As a matter of fact, I think Samguk uh, refers to the three kingdoms uh, in Chinese history. Uh, so this, those were uh, three uh, rival kingdoms, I believe they were. And uh, uh, that's where the name comes from. So quite a bit of history uh, on that era. Uh, so interesting to know of course that those details are available in Google so pretty interesting uh, I was kind of uh, reading through it uh, pretty interesting uh, Chinese history is quite uh, extensive so if you got time and you're interested uh, that's where the name comes from uh, so this motor Although it's a budget a series of motor, uh, it's been designed to include a lot of the features that uh, we've come to expect in uh, premium motors. So for instance, we got a single piece uh, shaft. Uh, this is uh, hardened steel, I believe it is. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of uh, details as specs on what uh, the components are on the DYS uh, website. Uh, they just show the motor and uh, very little information uh, so not much is known as to what the specs on the motor are materials and all that you know like the magnet type we don't know that uh, and the material of the armature I don't know if it's uh, 7075 or 6061 aluminum so not much information uh, so even though it's a budget motor. Uh, this motor has been designed to include a lot of the features that we've come to expect in premium motors. For instance, uh, we have a single piece shaft and it is partially hollow. So it's only hollow to uh, up to about right there uh, where it meets the, the bell. And uh, it does have a naked uh, bottom, a minimal base with uh, a 16 by 16 spacing. So uh, they've adopted the new uh, mounting standard, I guess. Uh, uh, hopefully all the motors catch up to this. A uh, smaller base, uh, not the 16 by 19 that we've seen in all the motors. Also, there's uh, the magnets are somewhat curved. I can't really tell if they're, if they're actually curved or not, but they certainly look to have a little bit of a curvature. But anyways, at this price point, uh, we hardly ever see true curved magnets. And not much details are shown on the DYS website. So there's not much information as to the materials used in the motor or the actual specs. So we don't, we don't know what material the armature is made out of, if it's 75 or 6061 aluminum. 
and also we don't know the what kind of what grade the magnets are if they're N48s or N52s so no information on that but uh, for ten dollars you know uh, uh, we'll see how the motor performs and basically that's what matters at the end you know how how powerful and how smooth the motor is so this motor comes with 150 millimeter of uh, 20 gauge wire for the motor leads um, so let's see what it weighs with that much wire uh, plenty of plenty of wire to reach the center mounted uh, 41 ESCs so that's pretty good and with that much wire it comes in at 33.2 so if we cut the wires to about 50 millimeters, uh, the weight would be. We'll see. We'll we'll uh, tear down, tear that. So that's about 2.4 grams. So about 30.8 with 50 millimeters uh, worth of wire. So not a bad weight. That's actually pretty decent weight for a budget motor so DYS did a pretty good job at uh, keeping the weight uh, pretty low on these motors so that's pretty good so that's a 3 millimeter shaft through the motor so a little bit smaller than we've been used to seeing in other 2306 or 2207 motors uh, 4 millimeter shaft uh, so but uh, for the budget motor I think that's that's what uh, you see in most uh, other budget motors 3 millimeter shaft and different uh, design from the other Wu and Wei motors as you can see the, the spokes here kind of interesting they look nice and of course they use different colors in, in each motor um, so this one is the uh, 2306 as I mentioned so let's uh, I already took out the um, circlip so let's pull it apart and uh, we'll see it on the magnifying glass okay so there's the stator as you can see pretty good job on the windings there uh, they look pretty neat and this is multi-strand wire that they use and it looks like the it's in bundles of three wires and uh, uh, they use a little bit of glue there to keep the uh, to protect the wires and to keep them in place so pretty good touch for being a budget motor and the base as I mentioned that's a 16 by 16 and looks to have pretty good uh, uh, thickness to it so hopefully hopefully this aluminum material is strong and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't break or or strip or the thread strip easily. And there's the bearings, uh, three by eight by four. So stand, just pretty much standard bearings. And uh, hopefully those are pretty okay bearings, and they don't give out fast. Uh, so this being a budget motor, you know, kind of makes you wonder where they cut down costs. So bearings is one of the places that I would imagine um, costs would be cut down. So, so hopefully the bearings are decent. If not, uh, you know, uh, would have to find replacement bearings. And there's the uh, uh, the bell. And as you can see, the magnets they sort of have. I can't really tell if they have any curvature but seems to they seem to have a little bit of curvature and when you you know when you put the when it the stator is in there uh, the air gap looks pretty good uh, it's not overly tight but not loose either so and they do feel like pretty strong so I you know I could, I wouldn't be surprised if they're uh, N52 magnets but still, you know, budget motor, so can't expect the best magnets. So, uh, well, what's going to be important is the overall performance of the motor. So, we'll we'll see that in the thrust stand, and eventually, you know, with the user reports, uh, we'll see how smooth the motors are and how responsive they are. So, and so another nice. Uh, touch is they do have this this bell ring do, seems to have a little bit of a lip right there so that helps keep the magnets in place uh, and uh, plenty of epoxy I see around the magnets so 
should uh, shouldn't be an issue with magnets coming loose and uh, the shaft it, it is magnetic so uh, I imagine that's hardened steel and uh, again three millimeter there okay let's have a closer look at uh, the air gap and as you can see those magnets don't really look like curved magnets but the air gap is pretty good as you can see there so all right uh, let's uh, put back together uh, the motor and uh, uh, put the circuit clip and uh, spacers there and uh, brass spacers and we'll put on the thrust down and see how it does Alright, so let's have a quick look at the thrust test results for these new line of motors, uh, the DYS Sam Gook series. Uh, this one's the SHU 2306-2800 kV. As you saw, the kV measured by the thrust stand came in at 2910, so slightly higher. That's what the thrust stand measured. So because of this high kV, I tested on 3S and 4S and the usual props, mostly five inch props, and I threw in a six inch prop. So with the lighter five inch prop, this uh, bi-blade, uh, GenFan 5045BN, it easily clears 1600 kV, so quite a lot of uh, power on this motor. Of course, all these amps are gonna be on the high side, but keep in mind this is a static thrust, and I always mention that, uh, let these big numbers scare you. They're a little bit deceiving because, you know, this is static thrust, so the amps are going to be pretty high, and that's true for all the motors I test. The amps just get pretty high because the motor's not moving. There's a lot of air recirculation on the propellers, and uh, the motors are uh, being driven by the de dedicated power supply, so they got a lot of current available to them, and it's only one motor, so they're able to draw quite a lot of juice. And also this is maximum burst uh, amps, so these are only momentary. You're only going to see them for a second or two maybe under the most extreme conditions. Basically what I've seen is uh, the translation of these max amps onto the real world is about 35 to 40 percent higher. So you got to multiply uh, these numbers by about 0.65 or 0.6 and that'll get you the max amps in the air. Those are going to be max burst stamps, so not constant. Keep in mind that uh, also the LiPo that you're using is going to be the limiting factor. So whatever LiPo you're using, that's going to be the limit. Uh, maybe it's only able to supply 120 amps max. That's got to be divided by four motors. So anyway, uh, getting back to the thrust uh, here. This is a new prop that I tested. It was uh, sent in by uh, one of the YouTube viewers. We wanted to see how it compares to other props. He actually sent me a whole bunch of master air screw props, so I'll be testing those soon. Anyway, I just threw it in here. So this one's the 5045. Didn't do as well as the Gen Fan, but the propeller seems pretty good, very well uh, balanced. Sometimes, you know, the propellers don't do as well on the thrust stand, but once you fly them, they're actually quite good. So you basically gotta try them in the air. But this gives you an indication of the thrust that they can make in comparison to other props. So moving on to the five inch tri-blades, the 5043 by 3 pretty impressive uh, 1650 basically at uh, 
54 amps again you know once you put this motor on a quad and get flying these amps are going to be quite a lot lower and they should be manageable because the, the lipo is going to limit whatever amps are going to the motor uh, of course you're going to have to have a pretty good lipo you know one of those uh, graphene 65c or any of those other good batteries this one is the master air screw 5045 by 3 again clearing 1600 pretty easily almost 1700 and then uh, i threw in the dys 5040 by 4 uh, again almost 1700 the dial c5046 that's getting into the heavy five inch props closing into 1700 with this one though it did break 1700 so that's quite impressive out of 4s on this motor uh, even on 3s is pretty reasonable thrust so that could be an option for this high kv some people might want to run it on 3s so you could give it a go on six inch i don't know if this motor uh, matches well a six inch build i don't think that many people are going to be using it but i threw it in right here just in case uh, somebody needs to see that so that's only on 3s because on 4s it, it would be just uh, way too high amps and i didn't want to burn the motor or the ESCs. so as you can see already on 3s on the six inch prop it's pretty high thrust there at 1400 and 47 amps so that's already quite high uh, so this motor is going to match with 5 inch ultralight so a lot of people are getting into those and going for the high kv motors that seems to be the best match uh, when you have a very light uh, build the very high kv motors really shine and uh, people seem to be liking those quite a lot so that, that's going to be where this motor is going to fit uh, best I did order the 2500 kv from Banggood DYS only sent me this uh, 2800 kv version so I put an order for the 2500 so that uh, still on the way I guess on the slow boat so once I get it I'll put it on the thrust stand and see how it does so that would be another good uh, data to have for these uh, budget motors so keep an eye out for that uh, test but uh, that's going to be a few weeks out since uh, still on its way here so all right i uh, hope you find these tests and data useful thank you for watching and until the next video